Welcome back to the channel guys, it's your boy Smokesta here, back at you with another video and today we are on 2024 MXB Cup Las Vegas. Now this is a replica of the 2018 Monster Energy Supercross Cup and it is by the man Toxic Creations. Now I had never watched the uh, 2018 Supercross Cup so I can't speak to how close it is to like the real life track as far as the replica side of things but as far as how it plays in the game man this track is a blast and i did not expect to get you know another super cross track <laughs> anytime soon being that we're like a month into outdoors but hey super cross is always on point so i'm excited that we got it man and toxic creations did an amazing job with this he really did the the way the track flows is very nice and it's very similar to how the ARL tracks were built but it's not as difficult so it's not an extremely like you don't have to be extremely good at the game to hop up on this track and spend some laps and I feel like put down decent lap times you know what I'm saying so I haven't got to race on it yet but Hopefully I see some lobbies up on here, but I don't think I will see too many being that, you know, we're in outdoor season right now and a lot of what I see um, as far as lobbies go outside of, you know, the default tracks are mostly motocross tracks and people practicing for the outdoors, you know what I'm saying? So, but if I do see it up in the lobbies, man, I'm definitely going to hop up in here and, uh, and give it a shot as far as the races go and when i get back to night shift i would definitely like to ride this in one of the streams man let me know what you guys think about that down below now it is a paid track so it is a dollar i believe on the mx bike shop but it's definitely worth it it really is man and uh, i don't know i'm i'm super stoked to have another supercross track man I honestly can't wait for next year's Supercross season. I'm having a blast with outdoors right now, but man, I thought that I was going to be a lot faster when it comes to the outdoors, and I have been struggling, man. Now, Pala was an extremely hard track, you know what I'm saying? But, well, it was hard for me at least, and so I struggled with that, and then um, Hangtown came out. And I didn't get to fully participate in that the way I wanted to because I was at work and everything. And I rushed home. Qualifying started at 7 p.m. Central Time. And I didn't even get the track until I think it was like 6.35 Central Time. So by the time qualifying started, I had three laps that I was able to spend. And I ran a 151 and qualifying was like, there was people running 142s and 141s. And even right now, after I've spun some more laps on that track, bro, the fastest I've been able to get is a 149. I don't know where people are getting their time at. I really don't, man. And um, yeah, so maybe when Thunder Valley comes out, I'll be able to have the track. For, oh. I'll be able to have the track a little bit longer and we can try to qualify for that spend some laps all day and get used to the track and then see where we're at man but I might have to just try to qualify for AMs and um, give up on the whole 250 ARL thing for now at least until I can get a little bit better you know what I'm saying so we'll see how that plays out when Thunder Valley comes out but man what about those races that we just had bro that um that hayden deegan and vial battle at the end of moto one was classic bro naswat said he was standing up out of his seat <laughs> he was on his feet for that battle bro i mean the thing it, it was crazy so deegan went down and then we all got him and then deegan's pushing 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 gets past vial right and then Vial's trying to come back on him and just straight wipes out, bro. So that was that was a that was a heck of a battle. 
excuse me, that was definitely a fun battle to watch, for sure, man. And then my boy Jet Lawrence comes in, and he didn't look the greatest in the first moto, but he ended up coming back. He got, I think he got second place in the first moto, and Hunter won the first moto. And then second moto, it was flip-flop, so um, Jet won the second moto, and then Hunter got second. So my boy Jet walked away with the dub, man. He walked away with the overall. And, uh, yeah, man. But Sexton, bro, Sexton was, he was, he was looking like he was on point, and then he was just not on point anymore. So, I think with Sexton, if he, you know, it, it's either he does really good or he doesn't, because that man is always just pushing so hard, you know what I'm saying? And I, and I it's like a gift and a curse for him, because sometimes it works, man, you know? Sometimes he does what he did last week, comes back from 40th to uh, win the race, and sometimes he goes down and throws it away. So, but hey, oh, I'm I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping that Jet Lawrence pulls out the uh, championship again. But I'll tell you what, man, Hunter is looking like he could do the damn thing. Hunter's looking really, really good, bro. He really is. And then. Um, so is Deegan. Deegan is really looking good, but I don't know. Now, this part of the track, I don't understand all the way. So you got the first one, so you can go under the bridge right here on the left. And then up here, you got another bridge. But I feel like it's not meant to be a split lane because that first left is going to be way faster than the second left. So if anybody knows what that's about, let me know in the comments, bro, because I didn't get to watch this uh this race in 2018 so i don't know what the purpose is of having two different sections right there um yeah i, I have no idea so if you know <laughs> if you know let me know down below man for real because i'm super curious about that and i cannot figure it out and i know they did like a uh what do you want to call it like a tournament race or a, a cup on this but I didn't watch that either, and so I have no idea what the purpose is of that second bridge. I, I don't feel like there's any way that that's faster at all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't I don't see it. So let me know down below if you know what the purpose of that is. Now, you got to choke up right there really. You can send it a little bit like I just did, but if you send it much further than that, you hit like this invisible wall and just... Yeah, it's it's all bad, so you don't want to be doing that. But but overall, man, he definitely did an amazing job on this track. And it's a very fun track. It really is. Now, as far as how popular it will be, I'm not sure because we just had, you know, Supercross season just ended and we're in motocross right now. But definitely worth going and checking out. If you like Supercross definitely go pick this up give it a shot and um yeah let me know down below what you guys think if you played it um i think it's a blast i really do so i think it's definitely worth it you know what i'm saying and like i said earlier the quality of it is very very good and toxic creations always comes through with comes through with some very good tracks um he's a very good track creator so yeah other than that, man, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all next time, man. Peace.